Hello and welcome to Architeasy. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how you can model this modern kitchen in Revit. So before I move there, let's just determine the size of this space and I will create those elements with a standard width of 600 millimeters and we have five of them. This one is slightly wider, so I'm going to consider this one as 800 which makes the width of our space of 3.8 meters. Regarding the heights, I will consider that this element is, let's say, around 2.1 meters. And this height of the cabinet is slightly bigger than the width, so I'm going to make it 700, which makes our height of 2.8 meters. We also have kind of the opening on the other side, which is a slightly taller than our cabinets and I'm going to make this in Revit. So in Revit, firstly, I'm going to create walls and I will just pick this finish face interior. Let's make them to the second level and let's create a rectangle with 3.8 meters and I can make the length of the space. So let's say 5.4 meters. We need to decrease the height of our walls 2.8 and I can now turn off scope boxes and levels. I don't need them. So we can uh, better see how our model look like. And uh, let me just create our opening. So in that purpose, I'm going to use a curtain wall tool and I'm going to make a new curtain wall type. The height of this curtain wall is not all the way up, so I'm just going to make it at 2.2 meters. So here it comes and now I'm going to load our kitchen elements, chairs, table and lamp. And if you would like to know how you can create those cabinets in Revit and to support our work, you can do that on our Patreon page on Mighty Networks and you will find the link in a video description. So now I'm going to proceed and I'm going to order all the elements correctly. So this tall cabinet stands in a corner. And then we have one, one more to the other side then we have this one here and this one i just need to check its sizes so let's see okay the depth is 580 while the width is 600 and i can just place it somewhere here let's copy this one for 600 and also one more actually no and then this one is 800 so let's create a new type And let's see, the handles here are 200, so we can make the handles here of 200 as well. So they're all the same, you see. And we also need to place the uh, oven and the stove, so we need also to create this smaller element. And I'm just going to explain you how you can out of this cabinet create that smaller one. So select it, go to edit type. And then I'm going to save as this firstly. We don't need this. And let's say from front, I will create a reference plane. Can make this as a lower height, let's say. So I will create a parameter. Let's make it 350. We don't need this and then this one i'm sorry i cannot do it that way i'm just going to create edit extrusion and we'll no, sorry again we have the parameters here so i'm going to delete this one 
and then I can just take a line tool and I'm going to lock it. So let's see, this seems fine. Save this and load it back into the project. And by the way, here there is something I don't like. Uh, we, you see that we have a bigger gap than, than here. So just select, select our family, go to edit type. And we have here panel offset. I will make one millimeter. So now it's super. And the same is here. Let's make this offset of one. Yep, so this fits perfectly. And I have no any stove or oven here. Let me just go to the uh, Autodesk families to see what do they have, if they have any oven. Yes, they have. Let's see, is there any stove? No. And by the way, if you don't want to use those Autodesk families, you can anytime go to the beam objects. And let's say I will just take oven. So I can try this one, maybe. And I will just download this Revit. So we can just try, let's say, this one. And I'm going to load them into the project file. Now I will just, oh, we have a lot of them. I don't know the difference. Anyway, I can just place this one here. Let's see from a plan view where it ends. I just need to be precise when I'm moving, so this is okay. This fits well here. And just to know the exact position, I will go to the plan view and I'm going to create a section. So from a section, I'm going to elevate this. And you see here, okay, this is well, what we can do. I will just make this to be wireframe as well. So I can measure this and this uh, cabinet needs to go to 85. I will just make one millimeter distance. So select this cabinet. Go to edit type and make this a lower height of 285. And yeah, that's it. So uh, we need now to position our upper elements. So now if I just select it here and place it, uh, we see that they go one into the other. So I will just see, okay. This is 550 millimeters and I'm just going to decrease this height on 250 instead of 200. Uh, and yes, this is good. Uh, let's just uh, mirror this one. And let's copy. And now this one needs to be wider. So I'm going to make this to be as a new type of 800. So the width is 800. So we just move it correctly. And yes, you see how it looked like. So let's just add one more thing now. And that's how to create uh, this part in Revit. So I will now go to the, actually I will firstly, I need to close those families. I will now just create a reference plane here. We'll name it as RKTZ01. So from a section view, we'll create a new element and it could be the casework. Let's take extrusion tool and I will make it as a rectangle. Now just take the, the offset of 20 and hit the space button so it's going to you see shift if it, uh, it if it will be going inside or outside drag this to here 
and we got it and what we have to do in Revit is just to add this sync so for that one I will just try some Autodesk family let's use something from here and I can just try with this one CM is a shortcut to place it so from a section I can just reposition it like this and then let's place it correctly from our plan view and now what we need to do is you will see now we need to make the cut in our countertop so select it and then take the void extrusion form pick this one as a reference plane and then when you hover the mouse click the tab button a couple of times so you select all the edges just extend this a little bit and that's it and uh, what we also need to do is just to add this green material and then you see this wood here so I'm going to uh, select everything and I will just create a new material here and let's name it as Architizi green I will pick this green color so it really doesn't matter right now and let's just add this wood so to add this wood I will take a paint tool PT is a shortcut let's take a pine or so we can take this pine and let's just paint this side so here it comes you see how it looks like uh, we also need to paint this part of the wall so I isolated this wall I went here to split face and then from our section I will just create the face we're gonna paint so I will select the paint tool and we'll take this architect green and yeah uh, what we need to do right now is to add the floors and you see that we have a three different floors so let me just create one we'll make a new type again and let's copy this one to the second level but here we're gonna rise it up for 300 actually for its thickness and I can also in this view maybe hide those elements so select them go to second right click and then hide and I'm going to take a split face as F is a shortcut select select this one and okay this is a white one so I'm gonna paint it let's take any white then we also need to split this one so And for this one I can add I can add anything it could be this concrete so this really doesn't matter right now and let's just take some wood here for the rest and what we need to do is to place this chair and this table so firstly I will place the table CM is a shortcut and just pick table here I'm going to move this from midpoint to midpoint here and then I will place a chair and I will just mirror this one so the last thing we need to place is to add our lamp so we cannot edit you see the reason is because the lamp is the ceiling based so I'm going to create a ceiling
and we'll just make this as a basic ceiling. We'll put the height at 2.8 meters and here I'm just going to use our lamp and I'm going to place it. Then I'm going to turn off ceilings from the categories, from visibility graphics and let's just position this one. So we'll take a move, snap to center, snap to center and okay. Uh, let's see how it looks in a section. So our model regarding the Revit part is almost done. So the last thing which I'm going to do will be to unhide things. So that was it for the Revit modeling part. In next tutorial, you're going to see how you can create this picture in 3D Studio Max out of this model. So what we are going to do is to, to import our Revit model into 3D Studio Max and with the Corona render to create this image.